Hello and welcome to the in-depth series section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha and in today's episode we will be discussing about the topic of Prajwal Revanna faces Blue Corner Notice. So what is Blue Corner Notice and why is he facing it? So points of discussion, first we will be looking at the news, then what is Blue Corner Notice? What are the seven types of notices which the Interpol issues? Then about Interpol and in the end prelims practice question. Topic is of relevance from general studies paper to important institutions. So let's begin. The news talks about what a blue corner notice will mean for Prajwal Rivanna. Blue corner notice is what we will be focusing on. So as of now what is happening is that a blue corner notice has been issued to the Karnataka MP Prajwal Rivanna who is facing sexual abuse allegations and now his father and JDS MLA HD Rivanna was remanded to the police till 8th of May 2024 and what happened was that Prajwal Rivanna fled to Germany on a diplomatic passport and the case is all about that there are many videos more than 3000 videos showing him allegedly sexually abusing party workers and other women they these videos went viral on april 28th so there is no point of going into the issue deeper into the issue that is of no importance to you what is important for you people is that you have to find out that there are few things which are coming up because of this issue in news and that is first of all it was the diplomatic passport and this has been covered by Ritu ma'am in, in news in detail and the second po point is the blue corner notice. So diplomatic passport is a passport on which Prajwal Rivanna has fled to Germany and it is a passport which is issued to Indian diplomats or you can say Indian officials. But this is not for personal purpose, it is for official visits. Usually it is for 5 years or less than 5 years. It is maroon in color. So it is basically issued to the Indian officials and for official visits. But Prajwal Rivanna did not use it for official visit this time. It was for personal use that he used it and that is why the diplomatic passport also came in news. Now we will focus more on the blue corner notice. Now what is a Interpol color coded notices? So see Interpol issues issues seven types of notices and these seven types of notices are of seven different colors denoted by seven different colors. So a blue Corner notice is a part of Interpol's elaborate system of color coded notices and these are there are seven color coded notices which Interpol issues. So blue corner notice is all about that it enables countries. So there is S not one country there are many countries and in this case it is about Germany and India. So it enables countries to share alerts and requests for information on wanted persons crimes worldwide it means imagine there is one country this is india this is another another country imagine this is germany now imagine that the person who has committed some crime or is wanted person and that person travels from one country to another country and then if the interpol issues blue corner notice blue corner notice then what will happen is these two countries now imagine that then germany will share the information of the person with india so all the information with regard to that person his location and all other information which the india wants from germany so germany will share it so that is what the blue corner corner notice is all about it enables countries to share alerts and requests for information worldwide. 
then this sharing of critical crime related information is crucial for tackling internationally spread out criminal activities be because if these kind of notices will not be in prevalence then what will happen that a person commits a crime in one country and then he or she can go to another country and if there is no no communication between both the countries then how the person who has committed crime will come into the notice so it is through these notices of interpol that these kind of these people who are wanted or who have committed some crime their location or their information can be shared then there are seven types of notices that is red yellow blue black green orange and purple now let us know about all those seven types of notices so first one being the red notice so it is about seeking the location and arrest of persons wanted for prosecution or to serve a sentence so the notice and arrest of a person is done under the red notice then comes yellow notice to help locate missing persons so the persons who are missing often minors or to help identify persons who are unable to identify themselves so it is basically about the finding the missing persons then comes the blue notice which is as of now in this case that is prajwal rivanna case is important that is to collect additional information to collect additional information about a person's identity location or activities in rela in relation to a criminal investigation so identity location or activities of a person can be found out under the blue corner notice then comes the black notice as the name itself is telling that this one must be very very serious so that is to seek information or unidentified bodies so if someone has died and the body is unidentified so to seek information with regard to that then comes the green notice so to provide warning about a person's criminal activities where the person is considered to be a possible threat to the public safety so this can work as a warning for the other country that this person can be problematic then comes orange notice so orange notice is about to warn of an event a person an object or a process representing a serious and imminent threat to public safety so a person or an event this can be a threat to the public safety then comes purple notice so purple notice is about to seek or provide information on modus operandi objects devices and concealment methods used by criminals so the criminals what whatever methods they have followed or objects or devices in committing any crime so that is done under the purple notice and in the prajwal rivanna case what the interpol has issued is the blue corner notice out of all that is about to seek identity location or activities of a criminal activity so that is now let us know about the interpol so what is a what is interpol so interpol stands for international criminal police organization so it is basically police organization but it works on the global level so like for example in india there are different organizations and the we have a different we have state police in delhi or we have state police in every state of india so like like that the interpol works as the is a police organization which works internationally and it looks into the international crime international criminal police organization so it is basically a inter governmental organization and then these notices are issued by the interpol general secretariat so the issue the notices the, the seven different types of notices which the interpol issues so these notices are issued by the interpol's general secretariat on the request of a member country's interpol national central bureau so the national central bureau of interpol the national central bureau of interpol they request and then the general secretariat of the interpol it issues the notice and then it also facilitates worldwide police cooperation and crime control so worldwide police cooperation it means that the 
कंट्री द पुलिस विद इन दैनी डिफरेंट कंट्रीज दे विल कोऑपरेट विद ईच अदर वाइल वर्किंग ऑन अ इशू देन दिस इज वर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट इंटरनेशनल पुलिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट वर्ल्ड लार्जेस्ट इंटरनेशनल पुलिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड द हेडक्वार्टर्स इज इन फ्रांस लियोन एंड इंडिया इज अ मेंबर सिंस 1956. सो दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट इंडिया इज अ मेंबर ऑफ इंटरपोल एंड इन इंडिया इट इज द सी बी आई विच लुक्स इन टू द मैटर then in the end it is a pre prelims practice question and you people will give me the answer in the comment section consider the following statements regarding interpol its headquarters is situated in paris india is not a member of it and it is an intergovernmental organization you have to talk about the correct statements 1 and 2 only 2 and 3 only 3 only or 1 and 3 only i think you should be able to do this one because we have discussed these points in the video so give me the answer in the comment section and that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time Keep reading, keep writing and keep subscribing to the channel. Thank you. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.